Hello everybody and welcome to Reason Gaming TV. And yeah, I am streaming on an i5 2500K. Um, not quite sure how that's relevant or how you found that out. Oh yeah, it's in my Twitch description. Anyways, let's start again. Hey guys, my name's Kai and I, and I've just got back from London, which was... Well, it's taken me over 24 hours to get back home. But here I am, and I've jumped straight back onto my computer to cast some lovely CSGO for you guys. So if you like my casting, remember to follow the Twitch channel and spread the word, etc, etc. And uh, I think a lot of you guys enjoyed the knife rounds being casted in Scottish accents. LDLC with two already triple from LDLC and NIP, normally called the new gods, are in a lot of trouble. Forrest has to go down secret, but it's no secret that he has gone down secret. And with one minute to go, I'm not quite sure how much longer I can maintain this Scottish accent for. Uh, I might have to speak in a French accent. Oh, right. <laughs> Right, okay, it is sort of tradition here on this channel to do the knife rounds in accents, but now they're taking the piss. Come on, Forrest. You're gonna go down. Nope. Oh, Uzi pulling the pistol out. Deary me. Just get the knife round over and done with, guys. <laughs> they're taking their time today, aren't they, guys? They are taking their time. Here we go. Oh, Forrest with one is the clutch on the cards. No, it isn't. So the Frenchies win the knife round. And uh, we all know how good NIP are at the nuke. They're pretty much the nuke team. But this is in... Oh, no. No, L I thought LDLC chose to stick with the T side there for a second. So LDLC, they've done the uh, the intelligent thing to do on their CT-sided map, like the nuke. And they've decided to switch over to CT. So this match might go on for uh, slightly longer than we probably first expected, but hey ho, ninjas in pyjamas, the N in NIP probably stands for nuke, that's how good they are at nuke, and here we go, let's have a look at how Team LDLC are going to set up, Maniac in ramp room, and uh, yep, uh, oh, standard setup, and KQLY lands first blood onto the head of Freiburg, it's the Frenchies versus the Swedes, and Fiflaren, the leader who's come under so much scrutiny recently, has managed to uh, dodge his way in towards secret. So the bomb is on the back of Exist, and LDLC, they're playing it smart. They're just holding the bomb sites and playing for time. Fiflaren pops around the corner, and finally, Apex goes down. It is four versus four. Just get right. Oh, he's running circles around one of the CTs, and surely he will get the kill. He does. Runs into Maniac, and well, it's well, two kills apiece as it stands. Forrest lands the shot. He's going to get another one. Happy ain't that happy anymore. And it's Maniac, last man standing. Headshot onto Forrest. And it's two versus one. What can Maniac do to uh, perhaps bring down Fifth Laren and exist? He spots Fifth Laren. He's spamming that weapon. But the bomb has gone down. It's two versus one. And NIP need to play it cool, calm and collective. Play for time. Maniac will get the kill. And it's Exist versus Maniac. Surely not. Surely Maniac won't get this three versus one clutch. He spots a glimpse of Exist. Exist pops out. But he's playing a very, very tough game at the moment. Come on, Maniac. Give us the clutch. He's faking the defuse. But Exist is reading him like a book. And there we go. It's one nil to NIP. And even when LDLC are on that favoured CT side, they still can't get the opening pistol round up against the champions of Nuke, Ninjas in Pyjamas. And just to clarify, guys, I am by myself today. I still do have a bit of the man flu, thanks to those who uh, are kindly asking. Um, because, obviously, I had quite a bad flu the other day. Uh, when I was doing Gfinity yesterday, the flu sort of cleared up. Uh, still got a bit of a sore throat, slightly blocked nose, but it doesn't matter. Let's concentrate on uh, good old Counter-Strike for the time being. So, it looks like the CTs are going to stack the lower bomb site, KQL, and his teammates with those 5.7s and P250s. Oh, well, I said earlier on that Exist was reading LDLC like an open book. And my word. Oh, lovely nay. That's going to deal a load of damage. And KQLY down to 21 HP. He's a dead man walking. And now, where are NIP going to take this bomb? Fifth is going to peek to the left. 
He's going to peek to the right. He's being shot. But surely the AKs from a long range situation like this are going to reign supreme. Get right with that Bison kill. And Maniac says, I want to get on the score sheet too. Thank you very much. Four versus three. Exist has managed to push in through secret. And down goes Uzi. Exist with the headshot. And yeah, exactly what we expected to see from NIP. They've got the bigger weapons. They've got the weapons which are better from long range. They made sure that they pushed outside. They wanted to use their long range weapons to their um, uh, strengths. And they most certainly did that. And LDLC, they're still, well, they're stuck on three USBs and two P250s. Uh, so we realistically should see 3-0 to the Swedes after this round. So the Molotov has gone down in main, and Uzi knows they're most certainly in lobby. Seeing that Molotov get lobbed out. Exist doing the smart thing, keeping that AK to long distance, and sending KQLY to sleep. And can his team teammate, can his comrade in action do the same? They both do. Fifth Laren and Get Right both getting on the score sheet, and Happy will spot Exist. And there you go. 3 0. As expected, no surprises. And finally, LDLC can buy up some proper weapons. They've got an AWP in the hands of KQL1, that big green deadly gun, which of course is one shot to anywhere but the but the foot, pretty much. Uh, one death. We've got two silenced M4s and two unsilenced M4s. So let's have a look at now how LDLC are going to set off. It's men versus men now. It was men versus boys before when LDLC only had pistols. But let's see, Apex is all... Eyes on outside. Forrest gets the better of him. Good shot from the experienced Swede, who apparently is currently in jail. But make of that what you will. So, NIP begin their descent upon ramp. And Maniac has the bomb between his hands. But he knows there's a few more terrorists lurking about. He's going to spray that M4. But he has to uh, fall back and play it more defensive from on top of this bomb site. The T's are still adamant on... Obviously planting the bomb. They're still in ramp room, so they could still either go to the lower bomb site from here or opt to go to the upper bomb site. And Uzi wants to s put a stop to NIP going towards this lower bomb site. It's the double from Uzi with that silenced M4, and he's shooting brilliantly towards the Swedes at the moment. Get right, he says. I want to get this bomb down on the lower bomb site. I don't give a damn. That Molotov will go into vents. And here we go. It's Forrest and Get Right, the old SK partnership from CS 1.6. Forrest will nail Happy in the head. Forrest once again, and NIP working wonders. They had a man disadvantage, but not anymore. Forrest working his magic, and he's only got Uzi to deal with now. We know Uzi got two kills earlier on in the round, but <laughs> Forrest puts the four man to his name to get round number four for NIP. And that is honestly how good Forrest is. He still called himself is no good, but we know he is absolutely world class in this game. 4 0. And thanks to that format, Forrest is on a nice healthy score of six kills and one death. And he's got over $8,000 in the bank. So those finances, without a doubt, should help NIP. LDLC, though, on pistols after losing that all important third round. So they're trying to play it defensive, they're trying to sit on top of the bomb sites, but we've seen them try and do that before. There we go, Uzi pushes up front, does manage to nail get right. And on paper again, we'd expect NIP to really take this round. They've got the weapons, they've got the advantage, but who knows? Exist, it's hanging around. Cool, calm and collectively outside. We know he likes playing there. Oh, and Happy is holding this corner. He will spot the head of Exist, but Exist on his last thread. He's only on 12 HP, but hey, he's still alive, and that's better than nothing. It's four versus three. Fifth Laren, Freiburg, Exist, and Forrest. The Swedes left standing. Up against Maniac, KQLY, and Uzi for the Frenchies. So the bomb is on ramp. It's on the back of Forest, And, well, LDLC have opted to pretty much stack this upper bomb site. They will hear the bomb go down on the lower bomb site, of course. Here we go. Uzi drops down. Oh, they may—they just may have caught a glimpse of him. 
They're slowly making their way and marching towards this B-bomb site. Here we go, Forrest begins the uh, plant initiation. Oh, lovely pre-fire from fifth. And Uzi has come unnoticed. And is that going to be more than a consolation? Forrest says, well, yes, I'm not going to let these pesky little counter-terrorists defuse the bomb. And Maniac is all by himself. We know he's a good player, but is he good enough? to take down not one, not two, but three Swedish NIP players. It doesn't look like he's going for it. Oh no, is he faking it? Is he going to go for the ninja defuse? And fifth Laren puts him to sleep. 5-0 is your score. So, stick all to director on and take a look at the scoreboard. Maniac with five kills, five deaths, followed by Uzi and Happy and Apex guys yet to even get a kill on the board. And that is just, that pretty much sums up how good NIP are on Nuke. And here we go, fifth Laren. Oh, he bumps into the tower of Frenchies on ramp, but Apex will nail him in the head with that M4. And NIP finally find themselves one man down. Can the French team in LDLC capitalise? on this advantage they've got. Remember, it's not the first time they're one man up, but last time they were one man up, they gave it away. All thanks to a nice four man from Forrest. So can Forrest work his magic? Whoa, oh no, KQLY! Wow, he doesn't leave it easy, does he? He misses the scoped in shot, but for somehow, pulls off the magnificent Nosk. So whatever floats your boat, KQLY. Now I believe this is the first time LDLC have a two-man advantage. Surely, surely they're not going to blow it away. Apex is waiting on this lower bomb site. Spots the head of Get Right. He has the bomb at his dispense. And without the bomb, it's going to be a very tough round for NIP to try and get on the board. Down goes Forrest. It's Exist. He's between a rock and a hard place. He's got four CTs coming his way. Uzi from the right. Happy from the left. And here we go. There we go. Uzi finally gets round number one on the board for LDLC. And thus, and the score is 5-1. So, LDLC finally succeeding at uh, unlocking this NIP T side. One round is better than nothing, but can they capitalize on that? Of course, they're going to need at least, you know, realistically nine or eight rounds up against NIP, and uh, followed by a good T side. There we go, Forrest, we don't see him orping much. He pulls off that orp shot, and it's, well, kills left, right, and center at the moment. Advantage NIP. Three versus four. And where is the bomb going to go? It is on the back of Get Right, the ex-SK gaming player. And Happy, well, he's going to creep around outside. Oh, is he going to catch Forrest? No, Forrest with the headshot. And, well, Uzi all by himself. He's got Exists AK-47 in hand, but surely he's going to be looking to save it. But NIP, on the other hand, they know he's got that AK-47. They don't want him to save it, and they're going to try and track him down as soon as they get that bomb down. So, get right. We'll uh, leap on towards this A bomb site and get the bomb down. And the rest of the terrorists will go in search of Mr. Uzi. Go and see where he is. He's out. Forest. Mr. Forrest, yet again. Some say he's the best CSGO player in the world. I say he is. Hat trick from him once again. And NIP, they make Nuke look so easy. Nuke is so CT sided, even after they swap back steps to Secret. And NIP, every time I watch them on this map, somehow managed to make it seem T sided. They're, 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 they're brilliant. They're out of this world. They really are on Nuke. Probably the best Nuke team on CSGO at the moment. And I'm not trying to be biased, but we all know how solid NIP well and truly are on Nuke. But KQLY wants to put a stop to that. He's gone for the FAMAS. And uh, the rest of his teammates all have M4s other than Apex, who also is on that FAMAS. So, fifth Laren 
He's taken the AWP that Forrest had in the previous round, trying to AWP ramp. But Maniac hears the AWP, hears that big, loud, bold sound, and starts the process of running away. LDLC, they've got that two-man advantage again, and the last time they had that, they won the round. Are they going to build on it? Fifth Laren will get the NOSC, and we've seen a heck of a load of no-scopes so far this game, haven't we? He's making a lot of noise, though. He's got to zoom in. Here we go. It's Happy versus Forrest, and finally, someone manages to shut Forrest down. The two-man advantage is existent once again for the French team, and Get Right will try to get this bomb down. He puts that Molotov in the vents and he's got all eyes on toxic Uzi will peek out and get right in fifth Laren and they've quickly turned this four versus two into a two versus two can get right get this round right he will get the headshot but no it wasn't meant to be a decent crossfire from LDLC they were in communication they surrounded get right and despite getting two kills despite NIP almost turning the 4v2 situation around LDLC have finally got their second round on the board So scoreboard wise we took a look at the LDLC scoreboard earlier on. The good news is that Happy and Apex finally do have a few kills on the board. Granted Happy only has one kill. I'm pretty sure he's not too happy about that as it stands. Freiburg bottom fragging for NIP with three kills but hey you know it's early days we're only in round number nine. Maniac holding ramp by himself and he will put Fifth Flower into sleep. And LDLC they need to keep using these men advantages to, uh, well, quite simply to their own advantage. Apex disposes of Get Right and LDLC once again, guys, have this two-man advantage. And if they can maintain that, like we've seen them do previously, they will, on a lot of averages, win the round. But uh, this is where NIP will really be tested and the commentator's curse kicks in. And well, it's Exist and Forest against the world. Against Oh, here we go. Forest, he's always lurking outside, isn't he? And he gets that cheap kill. Maniac won't be too happy about that. And at four versus two, this seems ever so likely for NIP. And just as I say that, both players go down. And LDLC are beginning to pull off the comeback. But maybe, just maybe... I'm speaking a bit too prematurely. Maybe I'm speaking a bit too soon. It's early days. It's only round number 10. But six rounds for NIP so far on such a heavily CT-sided map isn't too bad whatsoever. Um, it's <laughs> all, all the pressure at the moment is well and truly on the shoulders of LDLC. So we see one Galil from Get Right. The rest are all with AK-47s. We haven't really seen LDLC try and utilize an AWP outside or near ramp room. So that's an interesting setup on their behalf, but they probably just haven't been able to afford one because, you know, they haven't really racked a lot of consecutive rounds on the board um, just yet. But here we go. Maniac's been holding ramp room all by himself, and he's going to pull the trigger. It's three from Maniac. Fifth Larens runs into his crosshair. Oh, and I think Fifth Larens going to win this battle of wits. No! Four man from Maniac somehow with the uh, backwards running USP. And, well... We know how good NIP are, but when you've got a player in your team with Maniac's quality who can pretty much put all the Swedes to sleep, get a four-man with ease like that, it will make your life as a team much more easier here on uh, <laughs> such a heavy NIP map like D Nuke. So now we see NIP decoing, which is good news. For, well, it's good news if you're an LDLC fan, and on paper we should see an easy LDLC round, but Exist says, no, I am master of the pistols, let's take on Apex outside as well, and see whether we can drop him as well, thanks to our trusty P250s, Happy returns the kill, and it is a 4 versus 4 situation, 5th Laren is hanging around in lobby, but Exist, Forest and Get Right are taking their time outside, they're trying to trying to wait for LDLC to get complacent, to push outside and fall into an error and even perhaps give one of the NIP boys one of their weapons. So, Exist has picked up an AK-47, Forrest is going to rush straight into this bomb site. one dig from Forrest and that is how good he is. And if NIP, wow, if, say no more, do I really need to say any more? 
This is NIP, guys. This is what they'll do to you. When you get complacent, they will punish you. And all they had were a bunch of Deagles and a bunch of P250s up against the mighty M4s of the Frenchies. But they still somehow managed to win the round on a CT-sided map where they are T and... Take a bow, NIP. Take a bow, NIP. And hopefully, NIP can build on this and maybe even make it 11-4. But LDLC need to wake up. They need more rounds on the board. I know they're a good side too, and I don't see any reason why they can't do it. Hang on a second. What's uh, Maniac doing there? Well, it paid off for him. Took Fifth Lyron by surprise. And uh, why not if it gets you a cheap kill like that? For Florin, of course, the NIP leader, has come under so much scrutiny in the last week or so that his team are destined to shut up the haters as they proceed and march on towards secret outside KQLY. He's stuck in a hard place here. He's got that orb and Forrest puts him to sleep. It's Freiburg versus two. And NIP once again find themselves at a man disadvantage. Will Apex make it a two-man disadvantage? He most certainly does at the moment. And there we go. Maniac drops the bomb. And Maniac with his second and third of the round. So 7-5 is the score. And my word, I think I need a drink of water. This is why I always leave a note to myself saying, Kaya, stop casting by yourself because you need a break from time to time. Whew. Right. Who have you guys bet on? Have you bet on LDLC or have you bet on NIP? Let me know in the chat. So, uh, this is an interesting setup from NIP for Flower and, and Get Right opting to stick with the pistols. So, whatever floats their boat, Freiburg has pushed outside already. He hears the ore of KQLY. And uh, here we go. Maniac, you know, I mentioned that LDLC weren't using an ore. Uh, on ramp room, but Maniac has had it on the cover really well. Uzi catches a glimpse of Freiburg, and Freiburg gets the better of him. And can an NIP use that kill to open up this lower bomb site and get that all important C4 down? Freiburg is lurking in and around that lower bomb site, but the bomb is wow, it's all the way outside on the back of Get Right. So are they trying to fake something here? Exist goes down, and it is. Four versus four. Fiflaren throws those flashes in towards that bomb site. Happy with the kill. And Forrest, is it cometh the hour? Cometh the man because Forrest, he is he, he's been absolutely miraculous for NIP so far. The commentator's curse kicks in. Forrest goes down and it's get right versus Apex and Maniac. Apex. Falling back, doing the smart thing, waiting for his teammate to come round and help. And get right, needs to get this bomb down. There we go. He spots Maniac. He's got that P250 in hand with 15 seconds and counting. I don't think he's going to be able to get it down. And Apex confirms that 6-7 is your score in favour of the Swedes. So, after losing another consecutive round NIP, of course, they are being forced to eco. It's only Forrest who's opted to go for the CZ-75. So, are the CTs expecting this? Because, you know, it's not uncommon to really see CT sides change their lineup when they are expecting T's to be eco, and especially on, on such a CT-sided map like Nuke. And here we go, happy with first blood onto Freiburg. But, uh, well, we've seen NIP come back from worse deficits, of course. Forrest, he just about might push Happy. Is Happy going to be happy with himself? He is. He's going to get two. Is the hat trick on the cards. They're trying to chase him down. He went for the knife. But it wasn't meant to be. But at 7-7, when you consider how it was, I think, 5-1 in favour of NIP earlier on, LDLC have managed to bring it back to 7-7. It's not too bad, you know, not too bad. Um, if LDLC managed to make it 8-7, then take nothing away from them whatsoever. Um, they fought back well, they fought back hard, their heads haven't dropped, they haven't given up. And uh, it's still, realistically, all to play for. So, let's have a look at what's going to happen now. Uzi stood in front of Squeaky and KQLY will nail for flaring outside with that AWP shot and is this a sign of things to come from LDLC get right is preparing those flashes to go all into this upper bomb site and here we can see Exist is pushing in wow here we go Happy comes around the corner he's using that smoke to his advantage 
but exist with two kills already. They look like they are all over this upper bomb site. Forest lands the headshot, and it's exist. And Forest versus Apex, who's playing Super Mario in the vents. Headshot from Forest, 8 7. And brilliant flashes, actually, from Get Right on T Roof. Um, you can see how crucial those flashes are from outside here on Nuke. He threw them from T-Roof. He threw them uh, inside uh, of the upper bomb site. Blinded all the CTs on the upper bomb site, and allowed Exist and Get Right to really just march on into this upper bomb site and get a heck load of kills. And that's exactly what we've you know come to expect from NIP. They're just so good at Nuke. And let's have a look then. What's going on here? Um, it seems like a lot of people are spamming. So if you're spamming, I'm going to have to temporarily ban you, you naughty people. Yeah, I do actually plan on sorting Nightbot out or whatever it is. But uh, as some of you guys know, I've only recently come back into uh, CSGO casting. Here we go. Uh, is, have I got rid of all of them? Yeah, that looks like all of them. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's all the spammers gone. One guy writes, just copy paste to Reno. Right, let me get rid of this guy as well. Come on, guys, I need to cast. I don't want to, you, you know, have to sit here and ban all of you guys. I will sort out some mods after this match, guys. I will sort out some mods. Anyways, here we go. 8-7 the score, and it is a pistol round. If NIP managed to win this pistol round, they'll be able to capitalize on it. On paper, you'd expect them to go on and win the next two rounds. But if LDLC win it, ooh, Forrest getting dinked. There we go. There's first blood onto the head of Forrest. But Freiburg returning the kill. And <laughs> That is what I love about NIP. One of their players goes down, and before you know it, they've taken down three of the opposing players. Fifth Lyron headshot, and Happy, he's not going to be too happy with this situation, I'll tell you that. He's stuck between the two walls here in ramp room. He's making noise. He's going back towards the lobby. He needs to pick up this bomb, guys, but it's going to take something special to really defeat four NIP players. And has he got that something special within? He's going to drop Freiburg as well. It, is, it was four versus one, and get right is only on 12 HP. So is Happy going to pull this one off? Who knows? I think they've expected that he's going to drop now to the lower bomb site. If Happy somehow manages to pull this one out of the bag, I think I'll buy him a drink at the next LAN I spot him at because it will be absolutely phenomenal. He's making noise. He's, I think he's confused him. He's going all the way back up to this upper bomb site. He has to get the bomb down, but Get Right is going to hear him. And Get Right will get the kill, or maybe not. No, there we go. Dear me, Get Right almost giving me a heart attack. But unlucky from Happy, you know, one versus four, managing to take out at least two. Not too bad, not too bad, and uh, the defuse will come in for NIP, or, well, as soon as Get Right decides to push that E button down, and there we go, 9-7, winning that pistol round will give NIP that uh, financial advantage, LDLC will be forced to deco with, you know, CZ75s, P250s, and so on, and NIP will be able to buy lovely tasty pharmacies, or M4s, but they have opted for just pharmacies. Get right is yet to buy, and we do have a pause by the looks of things. So let's have a look at the chat. How is everyone doing? How's everyone doing? NIP losing. Mesov seems to be a 43-year-old man from Somalia. Um, you know, I welcome people from all over the world to watch my stream. However, please don't spam. Uh, <laughs> in Twitch chat. Uh, I really appreciate the positive feedback, guys. Remember to follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter as well, where I will tweet every time I go live. And uh, I will be sorting out mods after this, because obviously my channel is relatively new. 1,300 viewers. Dearie me, I had no idea. The last time I looked, I had 29. Uh, but cheers, guys. I appreciate everyone uh, what everyone's saying I really do uh, I'm hoping to really get back into casting I used to do source back in the day and now I've returned to the glorious world of CSGO um, am I doing this as a hobby well this cast is pretty much a hobby yeah I'm not really getting paid for it but uh, 
I guess I can argue that I... Well, I cast for Gfinity. They pay me for that. I have to travel into London. In fact, I don't know if anyone really watched the Gfinity stream yesterday where uh, I had to travel all the way to London, which was a six-hour train ride, to cast two matches. And then I only just got back a few hours ago. And let's bear in mind that I left there yesterday. So I've come right through the door and jumped straight onto this NIP and LDLC game uh, for you guys. Um, but yeah, again, people mentioning EFRAG and whatnot. You know, guys, it's not a comparison. We're all one big CSGO family. And, you know, if, 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 if you like... If you like my casting, I really appreciate it. And, you know, any followers on Twitter, daddy daddy da, any followers on Twitch would mean the world to me. And I do plan on on doing a few giveaways. Probably won't be able, can't afford to really give away knives. I'm not a millionaire, etc, etc. Uh, regarding Gfinity production, yeah, it's something we're going to be we're going to be working on. Um obviously, a lot of people were under the impression that both me and Banks, who were casting yesterday, were in charge of streaming and whatnot. No, me and Banks basically just sort of sit down and cast. Um, we don't do any of the streaming, any of the production or anything like that. Uh, so it was out of our hands, pretty much. Um, no, I didn't officially cast any tor like offline tournaments in my source days. I used to do a few... Yeah, well, can someone take a screenshot of 1337 viewers? That would That would be amazing. Um, but yeah, I used to ca cast online source uh, tournaments. Um, never did any 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 offline tournaments. But then I basically got asked to do a CS:GO I series, and I sort of jumped into the deep end with that. And a year later, I'm sort of slowly trying to get into it. I mean, yeah. Anyways, we're going live, guys. Long story short, I need to stop talking about myself and concentrate on good old Fifth Laren, Freiburg, Exist, Get Right, Forest, Maniac, Happy, KQLY, Apex, and Uzi. So, here goes nothing. NIP have gone for a four-man for myself. Yep, and Get Right with that unsilenced M4. So, again, guys, on paper, you'd expect NIP to really smash it. Let's see how it turns out. So, Forrest, all eyes on outside. He's going to peek on top of yellow, which for some reason is white now. But he's not hitting the shots at the moment. Happy, surely. Ha oh, lovely shot from Happy. Oh, world-class aim from the Frenchman. And, well, NIP, a one-man down already. Get right is also going to go down. And is this going to be the w a deco round for LDLC to turn things back in their favour? They're going to boost a few on top of, uh, of on top of Main. Yep, that's exactly what they are doing. And Maniac has picked up Forrest's Famas. And can he put it to good use? He will spot Exist. But Exist nailing him in the head. Two shots from Exist. And this is the thing about NIP on Nuke. They can be at a two-man disadvantage, and in a blink of an eye, they can just turn it back round in their favour once again. And it is three on three, just when it seems like LDLC have an advantage to capitalise on, they somehow turn it around, and none other than that man exists himself. Freiburg pops out, and happy last man standing, but he ain't standing anymore. 10-7 is your score. Awesome. Uh, someone saying they've got a screenshot of the 133. Yeah, the donate button doesn't work. Um, I will fix it. I really, I've, you know, heard that from a lot of people. I really appro appreciate you guys saying you want to donate. I will fix it soon. Um, but yeah, back to the game. And as well, the person with the screenshot of 1337 viewers, either tweet it to me or wait until. You know, after this second half, because I'll get the link off you. So, Apex creeping outside, and the T's have gone for the early buy, but Get Right wants to put them to sleep. And there we go again. KQLY will get the return frag, and one second NIP in the lead. The next second, it's LDLC. And before you know it, it's three versus three once again. And the thing about Nuke is, when the CTs are low in number, it quickly becomes a T-sided map, and that's why we all love Nuke. It really is. Many argue it's the complete map. And, uh, you know, I don't blame him for arguing that. Here we go. Two versus two. Happy pushes into that upper bomb site. But Freiburg says no. And it's two versus one. Uzi all 
by himself. Freiburg, nope, they're both on the lower bomb site, so you see, if Uzi even attempts to plant the bomb, NIP are going to hear him. And here we go, Exist is going to creep out the side. And easy shooting from him. 11-7 will be the score. And NIP looks strong. And because LDLC guys went for that early buy, it means they're going to have to deco again. And unless, you know, the CSGO gods are in their favor, they're going to allow them to get kills with those P250s up against the AKs and the M4s uh, in the hands of Fifth Laren and co. Uh, it's really going to take LDLC one heck of a miracle to try and pull this one back. Not to sound one-sided, but I'm saying it how it well and truly is. Round number 19, 11-7 in favor of the Swedes. And LDLC, they're changing it up. They don't want to waste any time whatsoever. And down goes Fifth Laren. But is that one kill going to be enough? Doesn't seem like it. Easy shooting practice from Exist. 12-7 is the score. And I think, yep, wow, look at all the cash that LDLC have, guys. 6k each. So are we going to see an AWP? No, we're not. It's just uh, a five-man AK-47 setup. And no AWP as of yet from NIP. Um, some, sometimes, obviously, we see... Forest, I believe it is, pick up the orc from time to time. Sometimes Get Right likes to pick up the orc sniper, but in this case, I think they probably they're probably trying to even reverse strat LDLC. This is how seriously the likes of LDLC now I can take each other's games before going into each game. You know, they look at each other's demos on this map, etc., etc. They've got Excel spreadsheets full of statistics and strats that they've seen the teams try and execute at big tournaments like Katowice and even here in earlier Star Star Series games. These guys are professional. They're paid to play this game, and they dedicate so much time to doing it. And here we go, Fifth Laren. Great teamwork between him and Get Right, as he will drop Happy. And LDLC are at a one-man disadvantage yet again. Uzi spamming into ramp, and at the moment, it looks like it's going to be a long, long way back in. What am I saying? A long way back in. A long way. A lot. Uh, <laughs> Right, I can't talk. Let's change the sentence around. Five versus two, and it's going to be a very long way back in for it for LDLC because it's going to be... Oh. Guys, I can't talk this round. I can't talk this round. I need to drink some water, and this is why I have a massive note on top of my monitor saying, do not ever cast by yourself because what happens is I end up talking too much, try and fill in for the absence of someone, and yeah, I end up talking a load of bollocks. Let me have a drink of water. Note to self, never cast by yourself, never cast by yourself. Chewie's not available, never cast by yourself, Kaya. Anyways, 13-7, and LDLC can uh, still afford to buy up AK-47. So, Freiburg, all eyes on Squeaky, and Forrest and Co. Forrest and Get Right, actually, the old SK duo opt in to stick outside, and they will have spotted the bomb on the uh, shoulders of Uzi. But the smokes are out there, and they are shielding the terrorists. Let's go and take a peek at what Maniac and his teammates are going to try and do. They're outside, guys, but they're far too slow. You can't give NIP... And there you go. Maniac team flashing himself. You can't give a team of NIP's quality so much time to suss you out. And that's what LDLC have done so far. But are they going to start and prove me wrong? It is three versus four. And LDLC need to capitalize on this one-man advantage that they have. They're creeping and making their way slowly but surely down to below heaven. Forrest is waiting eagerly near secret, but no one, unfortunately, for the Swede is going in his way. And is this going to be a push on the upper or on the lower bomb site? Forrest is going to peek from behind. Oh, great shot from Happy as he leaps down in towards main. And four versus one. It's Exist all by himself. If the game lets me switch to him. No, the game... Here we go. It finally lets me switch to exist. So, it's an AK versus four AKs of the terrorists. That AK-47, the Russian weapon. What can exist do with it? By the looks of things, guys, he's uh, going to be looking to save it. I don't blame him. But, yeah, if you NIP, you got plenty of money in the bank. He's playing it safe. He's playing it cool, calm, and collective. In fact, the AK he has in his hands ain't even his own AK. It's Happy's AK. Um, oh, I think he may have heard a few of the terrorists. There's a first shot. He's going to go for the second. Lovely shooting from Exist. But it's not going to mean much in the end. 
What it is going to mean is that he's going to manage to deal a lot of financial hurt towards LDLC. They can still afford to buy because the AK-47s are a lot cheaper than the M4s. However, uh, decent two kills from Exist. Um, but NIPs still are going to lose the round. We've got five AKs. No, four AKs and a Galil. Oh, wait, wait, no, KQ. Yeah, four AKs and a Galil. KQ confirms that. And four M4s and an Orb. So I'll tell you what, guys. I want to go and have a look at my good old friend, Forrest. Actually, no, I don't. Is anyone actually... No, no one's coming his way. So let's forget Forrest for now. He is orping outside. So that's how he's chained, guys. Forrest and co. have decided to change it round. They've finally put that orp outside. So let's see whether it pays off for them. They only need three more rounds, of course. When you consider the fact that they've uh, got 13 on the board already. Three shouldn't be too much to do. So Forrest and Get Right have swapped. Oh, lovely shooting from Get Right. How is he doing that? Through the smoke. World class. And Freiburg comes round the corner. And it's Maniac and Happy up against five angry Swedes who are trying to hunt them down. 50 seconds and counting. And Get Right is... You know, a lot of people say Forrest is the best CSGO player in the world. A lot of people say Get Right is the best CSGO player in the world. Make of that brilliant shooting through the smoke what you will. Forrest coming in and saying, no, Kaya, I am better than Get Right. And uh, let's see if they can find Happy. Get Right goes down. And Happy is three versus one. He's going to put that smoke down as he tries to pick up that bomb off the floor. Exist is all eyes on main. And we will see 14 rounds go in favour of NIP. Whew, little water break, right here we go. So, LDLC losing that round, they're being forced to deco. And you'd really expect NIP to win this round now, which would put them at match point. It would put them on 15 rounds, guys. And you do have to wonder whether there'll be any sort of way back in into it for NIP. Let's wait and see. Forrest is going to peek outside with that lovely Asimov M4. Get right, catches a glimpse of one of the T's. Get right, we know you're better than that. Stop pulling the shots off. It's Get right and Freiburg working as a duo outside to drop down. Well, not just two, but three. Make that four T's. And are we going to see the four man from Freiburg? You know what, guys? We are. Freiburg is the man of the moment. 15 8. And well, we're, well, we're going to see AKs from LDLC. But Counter Strike is not just a game of how good you are at aiming. You've got to be a good team. You've got to have a lot of character. You've got to be mentally strong. And when you consider how many rounds in a row LDLC have lost, their confidence is going to be low. So uh, let's see whether they can put a change to that and uh, make it 15-9. Because if they don't, NIP are going to be leaving Nuke as winners. So all the terrorists outside. And the bomb is on the back of Maniac. And for some reason, Auto Director wants to show his forest on the lower bomb site. Come on, Auto Director, what are you doing? Let me play around with it manually. So we have confirmation that LDLC have dropped down to secret, and we saw the CTs rotating back round. We can see Freiburg, and uh, and I believe that's Forest. Yep, yeah, Freiburg and Forest underground, and LDLC. I think they're going to have a change of heart. I think they're going to try and opt to go to that upper bomb site. But Uzi is in, well, he still wants to go to this lower bomb site. He's creeping around the corner. And it's Forrest versus Uzi. Who's going to win the battle? It's AK versus M4. And Forrest wins. But Apex gets that all important reverse frag. Four versus two. NIP, they're within touching distance of winning this game. It's Freiburg, uh, Fifth Lauren, and Exist against Maniac, who has the bomb. He's sat in Toxic at the moment, and he's got only 20 seconds to get the bomb down. He's on one HP. He's a dead man walking, and Exist takes out the trash. And the score finishes... Ooh, my voice disappearing there. The score finishes as 16-9.